Hey, what is going on, everyone? This is Keo Daikin, and welcome back to another exciting review. Today, we're going to be taking a look at Damaso's Nostalgia Trip V3. This is Nostalgia Trip by Damaso V3. This is based on Supreme Ultra. His previous images were based on Supreme Beta and I believe another base image. So this is fully compatible with the Sending Software Light Gun. This is also USB bootable as well. If you're planning on using a USB stick or a SSD drive, then this is another cool image you could uh, check out. Has a total of 7,000 games on it, about 7,500. So let's go ahead and get into this review. You know what time it is. So taking a look at the system, when you first boot up, you log right into Arcade, and you have about 1,100 games there. It's pretty decent. Neo Geo AES, 140 games. Sega Naomi, 52 games. Open Board, 57. You guys know Damaso loves open board games, so I'm sure all of these work. I know he spends a lot of time uh, checking his ROMs and making sure the majority of them work. Atari 2600, you have 497 games. Atari 7858. Family Computer, 127 games. Nintendo FDS, 144. NES, 779. So that looks like an entire ROM set there for NES. NES Hacks, 140 games available. So that's actually an impressive amount of NES Hacks games uh, available uh, for you on the Pi 4. So, I mean, obviously they do run on the Pi 3 as well, but uh, that's a pretty good size right there. Super Famicom 182, SNES 783, MSU 1 chip, 20 games, Nintendo ha Hacks 78 games, Nintendo 64 46, Nintendo Game Boy 562 games, Game Boy Color 537, Game Boy Advance 101, Virtual Boy you have 24, PC Engine CD 17 games, Turbo Graphics 16 96 games, Super Graphics, five games available. MS DOS, 16 games. Amiga, 93. X, 68,000, 19 games. PCFX, got one. Uh, Scum VM, four games. Uh, you got ports here. Uh, there's really nothing in ports except the uh, Chromium, Kodi, and several other things. Uh, 3DO interface, you have three games there. PlayStation, 183. PSP, 28 games. SG, 1066. Master System, 256. Sega Genesis 759. Uh, I don't need to go back. Okay, Genesis Hack 76, Mega Drive 26, Game Gear 248, Sega 32X 30 games, Sega CD 60, and Sega Saturn 30. So uh, one cool thing Damaso actually did was he went ahead and eliminated a lot of games that typically won't run on the Pi with Sega Saturn. So most of the games for Sega Saturn on the Pi that are 2D, and then of course the ones that can run decently, uh, of course he went ahead and added those there as well. So he went ahead and uh, did all the trouble for you so you don't have to go through any games that may be uh, run a little laggy, uh, such as Virtual Cop and several other games, so you don't have to worry about those. Dreamcast, 100 games. Then you have the Raspberry Pi OS desktop, we have, and then of course you have Steam with Steam Link. Now keep in mind, Steam Link is not something new. It's been available since the Pi 3 days, probably a little bit earlier. But in regards to Steam Link, if you guys have any type of Steam game uh, from your PC, it will run on the Raspberry Pi. I was playing Gears of War, uh, was it Gears of War Tactics? And uh, over a year ago on Steam Link, runs just fine on the Pi. So you don't have to worry about that there. And then of course we have our options. So we'll take a look at the, this here. If any of you have any questions specifically about this image or the base, please check out my playlist on Supreme Ultra. You're not going to find any more videos anywhere else detailing it. So I've been uh, beta testing and working with getting uh, RetroPie working on the Pi 4 since it first started. So if you guys even want to see the first boot on RetroPie, you can definitely check out the channel here. Uh, but in addition to that, uh, with the Supreme team, these are all the custom scripts that they did at it. Uh, audio tools, controller tools, emulation, RetroPie tools, visual tools. Uh, remember, this does have the Supreme Marquee Pi 
a script install on here. So if you do have an arcade cabinet and you want to use a LCD marquee, again, check out my videos with that. That is all on here showing it works. Uh, fix my build. Uh, this reverts your Pi directly to back or actually reverts the image back to default settings. Um, however, there are some exceptions to that. So if you do any type of custom configs, uh, those will get erased. This is basically like a master reset for this image. Front end selector, as usual, you have emulation station, a track mode and Pegasus. A track mode does work. So we have the best uh, guys in the Pi community working on a track mode foot boot, but boots fully. No issues there. Raspberry Config, RetroPie, and System Info and Weather. Um, if you also look at controller tools, you also have the Send and Light Gun menu. I know there's been a lot of questions recently about Send and Light Gun working on the Pi and as far as Supreme uh, bases. And now keep in mind, this is a, I'm not going to say older image, but I will say the software for Sending has been updated since this original release. So you will still need to go in and configure your gun and you will still need to go in and update the software, do a PC firmware update for the Sending Light Gun, and then also update the surf, uh, software on the Pi image itself in order to get full user capability. And uh, don't be discouraged, guys. If you are, this is your first time setting up a, a light gun on a Pi image or a PC, it is the hardest thing you can do in emulation. Uh, using a light gun or a trackball are the two most difficult things you can do to set up an arcade cabinet. Uh, again, aim track really doesn't work on the Pi 4 because the software emulators need it to make it run or work, uh, really aren't compatible. However, it should work for NES and, uh, Super Nintendo and a couple of other systems because obviously those are the same as the Pi 3. But as far as like advanced main 1.4, which is needed for aim track, it's not there on the Pi 4. So that's been an ongoing issue for over a year now. Again, check out all my previous videos and tutorials uh, for that. Uh, you have all your settings here for RetroPie. And keep in mind, this is Supreme Ultra. This is not the new V1 uh, that I will be talking about in the next couple of days. I have a nice little showcase for all of you uh, details and new features. So this particular base image came out in around November of last year. Wolf and Nose was the first one to release uh, his Retromania image on Supreme Ultra. So if you have uh, that or my Venom image or Pistolero, it's all using the same base. Uh, obviously, it's the same base, but each image maker uh, takes that base and probably makes additional optimizations and uh, custom configs based upon that. So every image runs a little differently. So uh, pretty much that wraps it up for this image. Um, obviously, I'm not going to go into a lot of gameplay. Just wanted to showcase what is on here. This is a 256 gigabyte image. I believe the actual file size is 244 uh, gigabytes. So this should pretty much work on any uh, SD card of that variant. I know Demos is really good with file sizes, so you guys don't have to worry about that. I know the image is also pie shrunk, so uh, this will auto expand once you go ahead and insert this in your Pi 4. And again, as always, none of the Supreme Ultra images uh, that I've seen, or not even the base, is overclocked. Everything is stocked. Uh, there are some additional settings you can do to get it to run a little bit better. I'll cover that. In, I've covered that in a previous video, but I'm going to recover that again because there seems to be a misunderstanding in the community and people who use Supreme Images thinking that they are overclocked. So I will definitely touch bases with that. Uh, so, but all in all, this is a good image. I mean, you have a number of different uh, themes on here. You have Epic Noir Plus, Carbon. So you have two themes on here, which is pretty good. I mean, I guess you just wanted to keep it simple. I think you have about two or three different loading screens on here or splash screens. But all in all, uh, trust the muscle. He does a really good image. So if you just want a straightforward image without the additional video screens, bells and whistles, or maybe something you can customize yourself, then I would highly recommend this for you. Uh, the Supreme Team does a lot of work getting this to work. So this will work on your Pi 4 8 gigabyte model, Pi 4 uh, 400, uh, Pi 4, all the variants of the Pi 4. In fact, there's another Pi 4 model that just came out so that we need to test it. It's pretty much the same Pi 4, but it has a different broadband uh, Broadcom chip in there. So we definitely need to test that uh, for power performance and overclocking purposes. So uh, again, guys, consider subscribing to the channel. This is Kyo Daiken. Uh, check out my other hobby-related groups on Facebook as well as my other social media. And also make sure you subscribe to 
my public Facebook page, Kill Dyke, and I sometimes post some videos on there and some additional commentaries. But also uh, keep posted on my community tab as well. Sometimes I'll post things through the week, just updating everybody and stuff. But again, guys, uh, hit that notification bell. I will catch you all later. You guys all have a good night. Hope you enjoyed this presentation. I'll catch you later. Bye bye.